in the past we have had sporadic cases. Um, one of the big ones was up north in Orangewak, and, and almost every year we get big, big outbreaks in the district of Orangewak. Um, that has not been the case for Cayo, but we do get sporadic uh, cases of equine encephalitis. Usually we report it every year. Um, it is very important to make this report so that um, Baja can take action and can advise the farmers to get their horses vaccinated. Um, one of the uh, important things to know about this disease is that, is that it can be transmitted to humans. It's, it's what we refer to as a zoonotic disease. There are other encephalitis diseases in horses that are, that are more fatal to humans, but um, that is not the case for Venezuelans. Venezuelans, uh, there is some difficulty for transmission from, from the horse to humanity. It does not get so easily transmitted as other encephalitis, for example, the Eastern, uh, Eastern equine encephalitis. So what are some of the other symptoms to look out for? Um, and is this both for humans and animals? To tell you the truth, I don't have much data on encephalitis in humans. Um, we need to coordinate with the Ministry of Health. Um, I'm sure the numbers, if there is any, it would be very, very low. But horses, it's, it's a common disease. Nevertheless, we, we must um, not take down our guards and take all the necessary actions. Um, it's, it's a viral disease, and you don't you don't want to treat the disease. You want to prevent the disease. Mm -hmm. So prevention is important and easy to do. I mean, you vaccinate your horse on an annual basis, and you would have the disease under control. Um, but as previously, what to look for apart from the normal signs? Um, well, it's basically there are normal signs, but to a common. A common sign is the, is the compulsory circling and the, and the twitching, the twitching of the lips and twitching of uh, muscles. No, the farmer would, would recognize it um, easily because it's a very abnormal behavior.